Hello, and welcome to ETCB 598, the capstone experience for the EdTech program. Now, I'm not going to start with my usual, hi, I'm Chris Johnson, I'm your instructor. Instead, I'm going to say, hi, welcome to your final experience in ETCB, and congratulations on making it this far in the program. So the purpose of this video is to briefly introduce you to the course and some of the expectations for the course. And then also I'll walk you a little bit through the website. And from there, you'll find the information you need to do your capstone experiences. So here we go. First, what's a capstone? Well, traditionally, it's been the covering point of a building or wall, but it's become known as the crowning achievement of a person's career. So this will be your crowning achievement for the EdTech program. So what does the capstone course look like? Well, it's your opportunity to demonstrate your ability to apply all of the theories, concepts, methodologies, and what we know about the affordance of the technologies that you've learned throughout this program. And you'll apply this to a real world instructional issue. It's a culminating experience. So you'll use everything that you've learned in the program to solve your real life problem. You have two options. It could be a research approach, or it could be applying what you've learned to a practical project applicable to your particular setting. So if you take the research option, you'll use any empirical methods, such as qualitative or quantitative research, to research a problem and propose solutions. For the practical option, you might do something like applying instructional design approach to a particular problem. But please remember, it's still similar to a mini research paper you'll need to back up your practical application with the theoretical material that you've learned throughout the course or that you'll research throughout this capstone. And you'll need to provide all the applicable documentation on the work in a format that would be similar to a research paper. And then there'll be a final written reflection. Now, your final product can be a written paper. A little bit facetious here in the picture in the upper right hand corner because it would be submitted electronically, a Word document or a PDF. You also have an option of doing an other format, such as an ebook or other digital technology. But remember, it should have the same substantial intellectual quality as your written paper. Now, your projects are first proposed to me, the instructor, in the capstone proposal, and this is detailed in the website. And after the final approval, you move forward ahead with your project independently. Now, I'll be there. I will expect weekly updates, and I'll be available anytime via email, phone, online meeting to help you with the project. But you are expected to work through this project independently. That said, I would reach out to your colleagues in the class and share your ideas and get their input on your project. Your final work will be presented either in person or virtually. And to be honest, I will advocate for most of us doing this virtually, but if you wanted the experience of presenting your capstone experience in person, we can arrange that. So the course is fully online, conducted in D2L. We will have a synchronous meeting in Adobe Connect on Wednesday, January the 18th at 6.30 p.m. I'll be sending out a reminder. Then after this initial meeting, I'll be meeting with each of you individually, unless I feel it would be worthwhile to get us all together for a meeting, and I'll send out an announcement. There's no set readings or textbook, and your final presentations of your projects will be scheduled the last week of class. You can also look at some past final projects by going to arizona.openrepository.com.arizona and all those other numbers. Uh, I have that in the website. So you can see what other students have done, and you'll be putting your proposals there as well. So let's take a brief look at the website. During the first week, please make sure that you look through the course introduction, the syllabus, and the instructor info. And my suggestion is familiarize yourself with each of the modules. There's not a lot in them compared to some of my other courses. So for example, in the capstone proposal, you want to review the guide, Download this PDF file, which is an electronic PDF that you can fill in and sign, and then you'll submit your project proposal in the project proposal Dropbox. 
Down here is the rubric for the key components of your proposal. Now you want to familiarize yourself with the dates. Your project proposal is due January the 30th and your final submission is April the 17th. So module two is that time period between when you submit your proposal and I have approved it and you do your final submission. So there's not a lot of direction in here. Now, like an independent study course, my suggestion is, is that you set up a schedule to work on your capstone experience X number of hours a week. And you can decide whatever amount of time that is, but just make sure that you're spending probably, oh, eight to 10 hours a week on your project so that it doesn't all collapse on you all at the very end of the course. And make sure this doesn't happen. I'm gonna ask you to do weekly progress reports. You'll find them in the weekly updates module. And in this update, I'll just ask you to, to let me know what it is that you've accomplished that week. It's my way of making sure that things don't kind of pile up towards the end of the semester. Down at the bottom, you'll see a rubric for the required capstone components. So I would make sure that I'm familiar with those. During the last week of class, you'll do a presentation on your project. There's a rubric for that. And there's also a final reflection. Now the reflection will be on your overall experience in the EdTech program. And it will be done through a completer survey that we're in the process of building this semester. So the link for that will be available towards the end of the semester. So that's it for this introduction to the Capstone experience. My word of advice, stay in touch and have fun.